Let's go shopping guys! Okay, first the stop is going to be the drugstore store Yes, because there are some buyer products over here that I want to try I got this lipstick tonight and so I wore only this lipstick And when I went downstairs the girls were like, oh you have some lipstick on your teeth And I was like, okay, um, whatever, it'll, it'll just come off I went like, I did my whole thing And it's the end of the night now, I've had, <laughs> I've had dinner And the, the freaking, it's still there it's still there and it won't come off. That's how good this lipstick is. It's still on my tooth. Um, the color stay limitless matte lipstick in the shade um, Top Talent. Is this one? I'm really excited to try this one on because I have tried the other colors, the brown one and pink one, and I'm so in love with them. They're so long lasting. So let's see how this one goes. I need to say, guys, for the lip liner, because I cannot do a video without a lip liner. I have chosen the Colorstay Longwear Lip Liner. This one as well, it's super popular between different makeup influencers. These are the two that you need if you only like long wearing lip liners that will last you literally all night. So I have a high-end one and a drugstore one. For the drugstore one, you guys know I always talk about this. It's the Revlon Colorstay Long Wear Lip Liner. This one lasts forever. The one she's wearing is a nude brownish color one. Let's try it on. Those lip liners work really well, but I'm still trying to look for something that lasts much more than this. Okay, I cannot open it, so we will do it like this. So let's line the lips. It's super creamy, it's super easy to apply. And let's do the upper lip as Andrea Lee does it. If you don't know Andrea Lee, she's a French makeup artist, she's so good beautiful elegant i love her and she always makes like a heart at the top and after she just follows the natural line of your lip so she just goes a little bit over on the top but that's all i simply love this lip liner even though red color will last much more than other colors but this one honestly is just amazing if you have the opportunity go and get it it's around 14 dollars so not bad. And let's try the Revlon uh, lipstick or lip stain. I guess lip stain. Okay, sorry. Before using it, you need to shake it a little bit. This is how it looks. Super red. And let's go for it. So that oh. Okay, see what's right. Has a little bit of a smell. Not bad though. Wow. Okay. I don't need to dip it again, which is good. Guys, one swap. And this is what we have. I personally love it. I need to try how it goes throughout the day. Obviously, I want to see if it lasts more than other Revlon colors. So we will see that today as well. It has been two minutes since I applied. Let's see if it's transfer proof. There you go. Little bit over here. I feel like if I give it a minute more, it will be completely transfer proof. So amazing. Let's see how this stays during the day and I will come back with more products. Guys, this is three hours after I had breakfast, what up? And it hasn't moved. Love it. Let's see how it goes. It's 3 p.m. guys now. I'm having late lunch. I have been working all morning and the makeup has not moved. Color is still there. I can see a little bit on this area that it's just moving away. I guess it's because I'm drinking water and eating obviously. So that area has been affected, but overall, I'm pretty happy with the performance of this lipstick. I 100% recommend it. Let's see what else I got. Guys, there are a few more things I wanna try. So I went shopping to make it. Well, I actually ordered them online, but it's the same thing. We got some goodies. And you know what? I wanna start with this. Those are our glasses brushes, and I wanna see what's the difference with them. We got the foundation brush and the concealer brush. I'm really interested on this one. So let's try it together. Are they ripping us off, or actually they're that good? Oh, that's soft, but same as the other one. Super pretty. I love that it's inclined like that to get to every single place under your eye. I'm going to put concealer under my eyes. I will use a regular brush in this one. And let's see if we see any difference. Awesome. 
So let's do it with my regular brush. I mean, it's not the best one. I normally use this in after I use my fingers. But for the sake of this video, I will do it this way. I also like using this. Is it blended through? Let's see. Hmm. Let's try this one now, but I'm going to use the mirror because I don't see anything. I'm half blind. So this one is not bad. Let's see how easy is this one. Okay. Can you guys see any difference? Was I ripped off? Was I? Maybe I'm crazy. But let me show it to you a bit closer. I feel like this side is quite patchy. It hasn't blend really good and also the fine lines are coming out. While in this one it's a bit more and more. It's not that patchy and it's sitting much better. Not sure guys, like I don't see a huge difference, just a little tiny bit. I think I will have to use it a few more times, but I can see a little bit of patchiness here, more fine lines and less fine lines here. So let's check the foundation brush. I have high hopes for this one. I have really uh, seen great reviews about it. So hopefully it works. It's tinier than I thought though. I don't know why. So let's put a bit of foundation on. There you go. That much. And let's see how it blends. Okay. okay. Guys, I can't say anything. This is really good. Oh gosh. I didn't think I would like it as much as I do, but I think I love it. Wow, look at my skin. So I will blend it. I'm impressed. And yes, sadly, sometimes some brushes are that good. I'm going to show you with a beauty blender in this side. My beauty blender looks terrible, but that's life. I need to say that this formula looks incredible anyway with anything you use, but I don't know if you guys can see the difference, but I definitely can. And I need to say that I love the beauty blender, even if it's a $10 beauty blender. Both sides are pretty good, I have to say. This one was just so easy to apply. It is one swap and done. With this one, I need to, you know, go in a little bit more time. It still will do the job. And obviously, if you're in a budget, go for the beauty blender. I most of the time use the beauty blender. I'm going to be using from now on more, obviously, the brush, just because I just bought it. It's expensive, so I need to use it, and I also like it. I have to give it to it. So yeah, it's worth it. I will have to use a few more times the concealer brush, but overall, all the influencers were right. Guys, something that everybody else is hyping is the Glow Recipe products. Yeah, this came to the market a long, long time ago, but I didn't try them. And now Glamzilla again is hyping them up. And you know what? She's making me want to try them because her skin glows all the time. I don't know why. So we're going to try this. But first, I need to remove my makeup. Okay, I'm back and it looks like somebody hit me, but this is what we have. According to Glencilla, this gives you glass skin. We have the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Cinemite Dew Drops and the PHA plus BHA Pore Tight Toner. Beautiful packaging, but super expensive. If this doesn't work, I don't know what to do because it's so expensive. So here we have it. There we go. Glass of skin. Oh, it smells so good like watermelon. Ooh. And let's try the a nice cinematic. Packaging is beautiful. I got the smaller size because what do I do if I don't like it? There you go. Three drops. And let's go. Let's glow. Am I glowing, guys? Is it that good? I don't know. 
I will have to try it again. It's not heavy, but it feels like you have something on the skin. I mean, I don't dislike it how it looks. My skin looks amazing. But I think I like it. I just need to use it more often to see the, the best results. But yeah, it's just that Glancilla has an amazing skin. But let's try something else. Okay, guys, the next product I'm going to be trying was really, really hyped by the Queen Pournicure Edition. And no, it's not the gummies. It was a tool that actually you can use on your face or also in your scalp. Actually, lately I have seen it all over TikTok, mostly men's using it, but also women's, and they have been using it on their scalp for hair growth. Let me show you what I mean. I need to say that I didn't order it from Kourtney Kardashian. I ordered it from another brand that is quite affordable. It's called Argot, I think it is. Anybody that loves skincare as much as I do will know that this is the holy grail of skincare. Basically, if you have fine lines or anything like that, it's super helpful, but you need to be really careful on how you use it. For the scalp though, I have never tried. This is going to be my first time, so let's see. Obviously, I'm not really losing hair, uh, but for somebody that is actually losing it quite a lot, it's really, really helpful. I'm going to show you how to use it, and I'm going to be using it actually in this part of my hairline, yes, because I feel like the hair is a bit thinner over here. To show you, obviously, the final results, I will have to be using it at least one to two months, but basically, I want you to see the process and what you can do to help your hair growth if you are suffering from this issue. So this is the Derma Roller. It says, efficient system for anti-aging, skin regeneration, skin tightening, and collagen stimulation. Most of us that, again, we do skincare all the time, we have used this one a million times on our faces. It comes with instructions, so pretty easy to use, even though I'm going to be scared, I have to say, because I'm scared of needles. But it tells you, step two is sterilize it. And sadly, they didn't send me anything to sterilize this product with. So I got a package from Amazon. Let me show you how it looks. This is 540 needles. It comes really well packaged, which is positive. I love that it comes in a case because you can always keep it safe and in good shape. Oh gosh, look at this. I don't know if you guys are able to see. This company also did send me a scalp and hair essential oil to repair the scalp, protect the hair roots and anti-freeze. So what I'm going to do is actually use the derma roller with this on my scalp. Let's try it. I have a friend sterilizing the roller for me. Yes, you can say the one I use it without doing that. It comes with those two things, I guess, to apply it on the hair. So what it says is basically that this will stimulate your hair follicles and that a four will help with hair growth. The roller will help me penetrate this liquid much deeper into my scalp and just say that those are all essential oils, nothing not natural. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply it and just massage it. I will just massage the area and spread it evenly. One thing, that you all need to know is that you don't need to push hard. So you just go over it slowly and you don't push hard. Don't ever do that. You don't wanna break your skin. You just go through it. Can you see it? Oh gosh, it looks like I never had a shower. It says, please roll in more than four different directions. Please refer to pictures. This is what I have to do. So. I went that way, so now we're going to go this way. Maybe this way. Maybe this way. So four directions. Four directions. After it says to apply nutrition or mass products to the hair, if basically your skin is inflammated. So be really careful. Don't push hard. But yeah, this is a whole grail for the face and for your scalp. Honestly, I have seen so many transformations on TikTok from men's mostly, actually. 
where they didn't have hair or they have like some patches with no hair and actually they have gotten great results the hair is growing it's just about giving it time two three months to see results but this actually works and for your face is amazing it's one of the best products for collagen regeneration and honestly fine lines it works super well so 100% recommend it I have a code for this product and also for the oil I will leave it attached on the comments if you guys want it but even if you don't like the product please don't forget to leave a like in this video as this will help me to reach more of some people like you and also will help me grow my channel if you decide to subscribe i will love you for forever ever and ever as an extra i have to say that this brand sent me this soap which apparently is one of the best sellers on their website i never heard of it it's a kojic acid soap again this is not a brand deal but they decided to sell me this product so thank you very very much apparently it has kojic acid collagen vitamin c vitamin e vitamin a1 c butter and retinols all natural ingredients and all amazing for the skin i cannot i cannot really wait to use this just basically because i'm a skincare addict anybody that knows me knows that i'm always doing everything i can to take care of my skin it says it's anti-aging rejuvenating and fades acne marks uh, i don't know if those claims are true but i certainly going to be trying it so it comes like that oh they sent me two love it oh it smells so good i'm going to be using this and i'm going to be actually coming back in a month time in a short and provide feedback on this one but yes looking at the ingredients 10 out of 10. also guys i wanted to talk to you about another product that i'm using at the moment at 7 a.m i wake up today it's 2 30 if i'm not grown and i'm using another lipstick that is going to be my holy grail so when I went to buy the previous lipstick and lip liner, I was looking for the nude color, the brownish color on that Revlon lip pencil, but I couldn't find it. So I actually was told by the shop owner that I should be trying the Nario Long Lasting Lip Liner. And honestly, it lasts forever. The lipstick I'm wearing is another shade of the Revlon one, it's shade 001. It goes really well with the lip liner. So I put them together. Maybe I actually still get another side of the lipstick. A bit darker, it's really warm, the lip liner. So I might have to, to try another lipstick, but overall it's lasting, it's not moving. Pretty happy with it. Honestly, there are great choices of lip liners in the drugstore store, so please, you don't need to waste $50 in a lip liner. Just go and get this. Guys, overall, I did love every single product from lip liners to brushes to the Glow Refrippy. I think all the products are amazing. Sometimes products are hyped and they're terrible. This time around, they were all amazing and I'm really happy I did try them. Please, please, please don't forget to like and subscribe as this will help me a lot, as I said before, to grow my channel. And also, don't forget to let me know what you want to see next. Again, thank you very much for watching and i see you next time. Bye.